The nominees for IEC Young Female Executive of the Year for 2018 are Chandrama Chakrabarti, Accenture. So I came to Australia in 2010 after I got married. I worked as a telecaller in Red Cross. I also worked in McDonald's after all these jobs and got into Accenture as an IT professional. I have been nominated last year as an industry mentor for promoting STEM subjects in secondary schools, be it my IT career or my singing profession. So I give my 100% in whatever I do. Um, success for me is always I chase my dreams and I never give up. That's my mantra to success. Misha Mahendru, Sacred Heart International. In 2012, when I arrived here, I was lucky enough to get my first job in the education industry, where I started working as student support officer. And soon thereafter, you know, Rajan Mishra, who are the owner of the company, they gave me an opportunity to explore in different departments, you know, working as lecturer, accounts, every department, and they found trust in me. I was presented with an opportunity to join hands with them, and that's when we started Sacred Heart International College. Education sector is one of the vast sector and it has got a huge potential in itself. And yes, education sector has gone through a little bit ups and downs. We always have believed in a good quality education and good student support services to students. And that's how we have survived and we have done wonders. Renuka Sharma. KPMG. My role at KPMG is in assisting declines from both public sector and private sector in adapting and responding in a better way to the disruptive forces of today. By that what I mean is you have to look into the foundations of your business. After graduating from engineering, I started working for Coca-Cola as my first firm and then uh, worked for companies like American Express and then went on to join KPMG, providing me that opportunity to work in different projects of different background, different contexts, different problems. And that's what excites me all the time whenever I go on to a new project and work with a new CEO or CFO. In this era, you have to be innovative and you have to go for out-of-the-box thinking and try new methods to compete with your competitors in unleashing the power for tomorrow.